ultimately, we're soft. We're really soft. Our generations are pathetic, right? My, everyone, every generation in this theatre, the baby boomers down was pathetic, right? My grandparents' generation, my grandparents' generation didn't know that they were going to have to spend six years fighting fascism. But when they did it, they did it, and they did it without complaint. And they had to put up, you know, unbelievable hardship. The Blitz, I remember the rationing of George fucking Formby, and all of that nightmare, right? <laughs> well, us, if things aren't exactly as we expect them to be, or more to the point, exactly as we believe we deserve them to be, we go batshit insane. They <laughs> saw off Hitler and Mussolini and Hirohito. Us, it snows for two days, and we're demanding a change of government. <laughs> we just can't come up with no irony in January when it snowed the BBC were going, don't go out there! It's minus two! <laughs> we don't know if humans can live at that temperature! The weather map's blue! It's not the colour of dry shit anymore, it's blue! There are men made of snow waiting with outstretched arms! Don't go out! For God's sake, the day it snowed, right? The day it snowed. We were having this conversation, my, um, my cleaner was due, right? We have a cleaner because we passionately believe in contributing to the economies of Eastern Europe. Um, <laughs> our cleaner was due, and, we, and my wife and I, unironically, were having this conversation where we're going, well, we can't, we can't get around, we can't, it's unfair, it's completely unfair. We'll have to, we'll have to tell her not to come, it's no human could make it through this. She'll, she'll freeze, she'll freeze there, she'll shatter in the street, she'll shatter into a bazillion pieces, it will be on our conscience, we must call her, we must call her. Ding dong, half eight, on the dot, as ever, hello. We went, you made it! And she said, yes. It's like summer in my country. <laughs> she was wearing a black puffer jacket and a white T-shirt. That is what it took for a human to get through that. On the other side of the street behind her, I could see my neighbours, like middle-class Michelin men, layer after layer, <laughs> roping their children together, <laughs> handing out Kendall mint cake. Come on! <laughs> we can make it to the post office. Let's sing songs to lift our spirits. Come on, Jacinta. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> Other neighbours packing the car to go panic buying. Does anybody want anything panic buying from the shops? Anything want anything panic bought? Anybody want a large amount of something irrelevant? <laughs> Bring it back. Printed out all the government guidelines. Make sure you bring something warm to wrap yourself in. Well, the cath kitten's rather flimsy, but I love the colouring. I do. I, I, I like that. Make sure you have a warm drink. Well, I've, tr I, I've tried to put the cappuccino maker into the cigarette lighter, but it won't fit. It simply won't fit. And look. And sure you have with you the means to dig yourself out of snow. But the gardener doesn't come until Wednesday. <laughs> Not taking him, he whistles. It's awful, it's awful. <laughs> we were pathetic. We were woefully underprepared, weren't we? Woefully. Woefully. We're woefully underprepared. Where's the salt? Where is the salt? <laughs> Where's all the salt? <laughs> There's no salt in this country. We've got one salt mine in Cheshire. One. You know that? Only one. Why only one? Not enough political prisoners. <laughs> That's my... <laughs> Thank God the Tories are back in charge. That's saw that out. <laughs> we don't need to worry about salt in this country. As long as supermarkets continue to do value meals, we'll be grand. <laughs> Swing a few lasagnas up the M6, you'll be... Don't worry about it. Chinese meal for two, good for 40 miles, I should imagine. <laughs> this will be fine. I had some astonishing conversations during that time. I was talking to a neighbour who said we didn't have any salt, so uh, we've just used jizz. Jizz? No, not jizz. Um, what do they call Jif now? Sif. Sif, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I hope she hasn't been going to the shop. Have you got any jizz? What? <laughs> it's, for, it's for stubborn oven stains. Is that a thing? Is that, does that work? Maybe that's what my husband was doing. <laughs> Too late now. I can't sew it back on now. We're just... We're... <laughs> We, what, we are terrible. Not only are we soft, but we're drama queens. We love that kind of crisis. We love it. We love any kind of crisis. That's why, you know, when the oil prices go up, whenever the oil prices go up, you find everyone going, ooh, there'll be a fuel crisis, there'll be a fuel blockade, or oh, there's going to be a crisis. There isn't going to be a crisis. We just want there to be a crisis, because as soon as there's a crisis, we can get on with the business of being British and run down to the petrol station with buckets and queue overnight and fill the buckets with petrol and take them home and put them in the garage and go, there! We're safe. You're not safe. You got buckets of petrol <laughs> in your garage. People panic buying pensioners, mugging each other for beans. Middle class people panic buying bread makers. It's, yeah. <laughs> Middle class people are shit at panic buying. They go for perishables. Quick, there'll be a run on mixed Mediterranean dips. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> this is why, if there's ever a class war in this country, the working class will win, because they've got tins, right? <laughs> so long as they can sit out the first four days, they'll be fine. The siege of best before, this will become called <laughs> over time. Middle class people don't see a tin between harvest festivals. We <laughs> didn't... <laughs> The ceremony of Thanksgiving, I now understand that to be. At the time, I thought it was just the annual day. Your mum went through the back of the cupboard going, are you likely to eat that? No, I'll take that in. Uh, <laughs> Harvest Festival, or as pensioners call it, Pineapple Chunks Day! <laughs> We're hopeless. We are absolutely hopeless. During that freeze, I genuinely heard a woman on Sky News saying, this place is down to its last pack of croissants. <laughs> oh, God, the humanity! Forced to eat pan au chocolat! <laughs>